Hi, I'm Congressman Mike Thompson, and I'm proud to be here on the steps of the Lake County uh, uh, County Administrative Building to uh, present a check for $320,000 uh, to Lake County. Uh, this is a member-designated uh, program that I was able to get funded through the uh, federal funding bill uh, that funds all of, uh, all of government. And uh, this money will be used in an important project here in Lake County, one that uh, on the way up, uh, driving up this morning, um, my uh, staff aide and I were talking about it. My first involvement uh, with the Full Circle was in 1999 uh, when uh, I got budget language put in the federal budget uh, to get uh, help for this great project. And uh, it, was, it was held up, it was stalled, and I had to go to the White House and get President Clinton to get the Secretary of the Army to uh, come to my office in, in Washington. Uh, and we met with then Supervisor Karen Mackey. She flew out special for that, uh, for that meeting. And we uh, hashed it out uh, in, in, in my office that day. And uh, that was where, where I, when I first got involved. So when the county came to me this year and said, uh, this is a, a, a priority of ours, uh, let me tell you about it. I said, uh, I know about it, and it's a priority of mine also. So I'm, I'm glad that we were able to get uh, uh, this money to the county. And, uh, and uh, County Supervisor Crandall, uh, Chair of the Board of Supervisors, I'll give this to you. Right. And then um, uh, tell you don't spend it all in one, or maybe spend it all in one place. <laughs> but uh, congratulations. I know this money will be well spent. So thank, right. you, uh, thank, you. thank you very much. I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Congressman. So we're, we're, we're very grateful to Congressman Thompson for his tireless efforts to support the need of Lake County's communities. Community project funding secured for the Lake County Full Circle Affluent Pipeline Preliminary Design Report update highlights Congressman Thompson's commitment to understanding the needs of the communities in his district and partnering with local leadership to ensure every resident has the opportunity to achieve their potential. As technologies and environmental factors change, we have a responsibility to respond and get ahead of the trends where possible. This preliminary design report update will offer the opportunity to do just that for our wastewater infrastructure and further innovative efforts to promote sustainable energy that began, it began two decades ago, like the Congressman said. So, uh, thank you again, Congressman, for this, for this work, and I will now pass it off to District 5 Supervisor Jessica Paiska. Mm -hmm. I'll hold on to this. So, thank you, <laughs> Congressman. I'm, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to um, take a fresh look at the Full Circle Pipeline Project uh, as it relates to today's needs and uh, modern technologies. This really will give us the capacity for growth as well as the ability to manage and suppress wildfires in our communities. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to this um, new step in developing the critical infrastructure that we so desperately need. Thank you. Oh, and our special districts director, Scott Harder. Thank you, Jessica. Um, as Congressman Thompson pointed out, this project has been a long time in the making. Uh, it's, it will be the completion, or it should be the completion of the full circle project, um, taking wastewater from the northwest region, the southeast region, Clear Lake Oaks, and taking that treated effluent and using it for green energy injection into the geyser steam fields. Uh, this portion of the project, the full circle portion, was envisioned uh, over 20 years ago. And uh, with his help, we're very appreciative to be able to uh, restart this portion of the project, relook at this, and, and complete that pipeline, which should work from the city of Lakeport through the city of Kelseyville and, and bring that, that full circle all the way around the lake. Thank you very much. And uh, to wrap things up, I'd like to introduce Carol, the CAO. Hi, I'm Carol Hutchinson, Lake County Administrative Officer. The Full Circle Project has such incredible potential to help us secure our sustainable energy future here in Lake County. 
it will lead to expanded geothermal resources, uh, it, which is also an incredible opportunity far beyond what the current capacity is of the project. Um, many may not know that Lake County's geysers project, which is shared with Lake and Mendocino counties, is actually the largest geothermal energy producer in America. This project carries tremendous potential benefits that are going to, to go well beyond the boundaries of Lake County. Congressman Thompson obviously well knows uh, and understands the need to plan infrastructure that enhances both disaster and energy resiliency. He's been on, in our corner uh, working on projects of this nature for many, many years. It's a very, very positive step for Lake County and will help us promote a more positive future here. So with that, our thanks. Congressman. Well, thank you all uh, very much. I, and I just want to be on record uh, stating that it is just wonderful to work with Lake County, uh, the elected officials, as well as uh, the appointed officials and, and, and staff. It's just a great working relationship, and you're doing a lot of great things, and uh, keep it up, and I'll help any way that I can. And if, I don't know if there's anyone has any questions about this. Wolf Blitzer? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much.